Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Bill Clinton hit with priceless karma after sending Trump nasty Father's Day surprise. So for Father's Day, former president and accused rapist Bill Clinton thought he would be cool and celebrate by taking a swipe at President Trump on social media. The only problem is, when you live in a glass house full of china, it's better to just keep quiet and go about your business. As we reported yesterday everyone's favorite alleged sexual predator and former President Bill B.J. Clinton just couldn't keep his big mouth shut on social media. So he decided it would be a good idea to attack President Trump yesterday, Father's Day, by tweeting out a condemnation about President Trump's efforts to uphold the rule of law and our nation's sovereignty. But since the American public has now gotten a lot smarter than these political hacks give us credit for, his statement didn't end well and karma caught up with him. Here is more on this saga via Newsweek. A man who claims to be Bill Clinton's son wished him a happy Father's Day on Sunday, despite his claim being debunked by a DNA test almost 20 years ago. On Sunday, 32-year-old Danny Williams shared his tweet from last year where he thanked Clinton. Even though you abandoned me and only took care of Chelsea, I still want to thank you for giving me life. Happy Father's Day Bill Clinton, Williams tweeted. Williams has claimed for more than 20 years that he is the son of former President Clinton and has regularly demanded a DNA test. A Florida businessman has thrown his support behind Williams and asked U.S. President Donald Trump to use his presidential power to force Clinton into the test. Mr. President. Can you use your presidential power to get at Bill Clinton to do a DNA for this kid at Danny underscore Williams cause him curious about the results so does everyone else. I'm willing to pay for the test including a $20,000 donation on your next campaign," top-notch expert founder Carl Barvinsky Paul tweeted. There's nothing worse than a man that can be everything to everybody else, except a father to their own child, Paul wrote. In 1999, the story came to a head when tabloid magazine Star offered to pay for a paternity test using Clinton's DNA from the Monica Lewinsky case. According to a Star source quoted in Time magazine, the results revealed there was no match, not even close. The Drudge Report confirmed the news, according to Snopes.com. The Drudge Report has learned that 13-year-old Danny Williams is now dealing with the news that Bill Clinton is not his father. The Drudge Report stated, acclaimed by Bobby Ann Williams, a little rock prostitute, that her son, Danny, sick, was fathered by Bill Clinton has been proven false by DNA analysis. Star. The tabloid that first published Jennifer Flowers' claim that she had been one of Clinton's lovers, was reported to have paid Williams a low six-figure sum for exclusive rights to the story. It arranged to have Danny's DNA checked against that of the president. On January 9, the Drudge Report broke the news that Time magazine had learned that the DNA tests cleared Clinton. The story resurfaced in 2016 when Williams claimed Starr's test was inaccurate because it had sourced Clinton's DNA from a previous case, as opposed to a new sample. The claim was supported by Matt Drudge, in contradiction of his 1999 work. Vox accused Drudge of recirculating the news to destabilize Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign. Drudge tweeted in October 2016 that there never was a DNA test. I was lied to directly by Walter Isaacson at Time magazine over DNA test on Danny Williams, Clinton's alleged son. There wasn't one, the now-deleted tweet reads, according to Mediate.com. Williams appeared on Alex Jones's InfoWars and argued that the 1999 test only analyzed polymerase chain reaction (PCR) and another test needed to be run for refraction fragmented length polymorphism (RFLP). Dr. Henry Lee, one of the world's foremost forensic scientists, told the New York Daily News, "You would need to put President Clinton's DNA side by side using RFLP to determine paternity," Williams wrote. But according to the Washington Post, in his story, Williams chose to leave out one definitive line from the New York Daily News story, you can use the PCR test to exclude President Clinton. Clinton posted his own Father's Day message, unrelated to Williams. On this Father's Day I'm thinking of the thousands of children separated from their parents at the border, Clinton tweeted. These children should not be a negotiating tool. And reuniting them with their families would reaffirm America's belief in and support for all parents who love their children. You would think that after seeing how the American public didn't fall for a Hillary Clinton presidency this has been who gave us 9-11 by not taking down Osama bin Laden when he had the chance would have learned that it's best if you keep your mouth shut and just go about your business of trying to get women into bed and staying away from the public spotlight. But no, he insists on staying in the headlines and continues to make a fool out of himself. Now as far as this paternity test is concerned I'm not sure about the legalities of it, 
But can't they just collect from DNA from the famous Lewinsky blue dress in order to put to rest the rumor that he's Danny Williams' father? The kid is the spitting image of Bill Clinton and there has to be a reason why Bubba doesn't just want to take that test and put this whole episode to rest. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.